I f***ed up. So last week, I filmed a property in Westchester, New York. Trying to add to my real estate portfolio, a couple that I know allowed me to film their home. And let me tell you, this house is gorgeous. They've been working on it for as long as I've known them, and I even helped demolish some of their bathrooms. On this day, the sun was not to be seen at all. It was raining, and the overcast was so thick, it looked like the sun set at 2 p.m. To compensate for this, I installed Technicolor's CineStyle picture profile on my cameras. This picture profile is supposed to give me a lot more dynamic range, so that way details in the shadows and highlights are a lot better than what a standard picture profile can give me. And to be honest, it looked like I was properly focused and exposed, but on a 3-inch display, almost anything will look amazing. I come back home to edit the footage, and I found some very disgusting noise and grain on all the shots. <laughs> Double checking my camera settings, I did expose as properly as I could using the CineStyle profile. So I did some research and I just concluded that my camera does not perform well in low light. And the effect of that is going to be high noise and grain in the footage. But that's going to be the case with low budget gear. It really got me thinking, how can I fix the quality of my videos? The obvious answer is to buy a camera that performs well in low light and shoots in log format so I get that dynamic range. But those cameras cost upwards of a thousand bucks minimum and I really don't feel like dropping a grand just so my footage has less noise. I looked some stuff up and there's a plugin for Premiere Pro that reduces noise. It's called Neat Video and it's very powerful at reducing noise. It costs about 100 bucks, that comes with the license to use it commercially. Now to most people, paying 100 bucks for a plugin may sound ridiculous, but if it saves me from having to buy a thousand dollar camera body in order to do the same thing and I get the same result, then yeah, I'll drop the 100 bucks. So I re-edited the video and now I think this video is truly reflective of how beautiful this house is. <laughs> So I guess the lesson of the story is to not always throw money at your problem to get the most expensive gear, so that way your video production goes up, but to come up with creative solutions to get the same end result without breaking the bank. This is Kevin Mendoza, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.